Hey guys, in this video I am taking a character from uh, ZBrush and exporting him out after Z remeshing the mesh into uh, Maya. And so I have two pieces here and my goal is to take this uh, arm and connect it to the body of my character. So I was thinking why not record the process of actually making a smooth connection uh, between these two meshes. So the way I, I usually go about it is I would first make sure that obviously I don't need any of this geometry here. So I would delete that. And next, um, what I would do is I would select all of these points here and look at the uh, vert number. And if you don't have all of these numbers here, you can go to display and go to um, heads up display and turn on your uh, poly count, which is right here. So that's what uh, this display is. So when I select all of my points, I can see that I have 20 verts that would need to be connected. Now, technically, I could probably uh, simplify this geometry, um, and maybe it's a little uh, too dense, but this is probably not going to be a game character. I was thinking of just creating a few animations. So it's uh, simple enough for that. And I don't think I need to clean it um, to simplify it any more than this, right? So now the question becomes, how do I connect it to this mesh? Um, because I need 20 verts uh, here, right? So maybe one way we could do it is we could, for example, use this button here and spherify. And we could add a division to that. And if I do that, I can go to select, convert selection, convert to verts, right? And now I can see that I have 17, and obviously I don't need the middle one either. So I have 16. So I have 16 verts here, and I have 20 uh, here. So maybe that's close enough for me to make the connection, right? So let's go ahead and see how that uh, actually looks. So I'm gonna press delete. And one thing I could do, obviously, is double click on my edge and maybe make this a little tighter. Now, I am aware that there there's uh, some polygons that are not uh, quads, so I'm going to clean this up afterwards, right? So first, I want to make the connection. So let's go ahead and bring this a little closer and maybe align it a little better. It doesn't need to be perfect, but something like this should work. And now uh, what I need to do is connect both of these shapes together. So I'm going to click this button here called Combine. Again, we know that um, if I go to Select and Convert, I know that this number is 16 and this is 20. So one thing I usually do in these kind of situations is I'd probably just merge some of these points together. So I could click on this button and just simply go around and merge a few on the bottom. Something like that. All right, so now if I go to Edge and select my edge and hold down Shift and select this edge. Um, by the way, when you double click on the edge, you can obviously see the uh, edge number here, right? So it's 16, hold on the Shift. Uh, 32 so I know that the edges match as well so now if I uh, simply click on the bridge um, it makes the uh, perfect connection and that is exactly uh, what I want right so there's still a couple things that I need to do um, one I need to identify which polygons are not quads. And to do that, I'm going to go to Mesh, Clean Up, and I'm, I'm going to say Select Matching Polygons and uh, Faces with More Than Four Sides and say Apply. So Maya is telling me, hey, all of these are not 
um, you know, four-sided quad. So what I could do is I can say, say clean up. And now since these are selected, I can just say apply. And that will, Maya will actually create the proper lines for me to kind of break up the uh, geometry. And that is going to be much better for us as far as smoothing this, right? So the next uh, step, usually what I do is I go to sculpting and go to smooth. And let's go ahead and dial our brush down because this is an import from uh, ZBrush. It's actually uh, very small. So now I'm just going to smooth this out. And I don't really have an exact reference of what I'm trying to uh, get. So I'm just kind of feeling my way through and seeing how uh, it feels and how I like it. So I actually uh, wouldn't mind if this shoulder was a little thicker. So you could see uh, now the other thing I would do is go to soft edges and just make the edges soft. And you could see that it made a pretty good uh, connection for us. And this will work uh, great for uh, animation. All right, so the next step would be to take this uh, character and I would delete half of him. And then I would go to mesh and do a mirror. And then I would probably select. Um, next, I would actually need to uh, combine both shapes. And then if you look here, I have 140 points, right? So what I need to do is go to uh, merge and say apply and then watch this number. If I say apply, it went to 70, which means all of these have been uh, welded together. And you can see uh, that there might be a sharp line here, which you can see if I turn this off actually. Right there. So now we just need to take soften our edges and that gets rid of that. And if we wanted to uh, smooth it further, we could press uh, three on our keyboard just for a preview. All right, so now I can go back uh, to ZBrush and continue uh, importing the rest of my elements. I hope you found this uh, useful and I'll see you in the next video.